Your boat can be a big investment, so it's one you'll definitely want to protect. One of the simplest ways to do that is to make sure when your boat's tied up, it's tied up properly. Today we're taking a look at how to do just that with some of CMP's lineup of fenders, lines, and other accessories. Now fenders are simple, right? You hang them off your boat, stop it from bumping into the dock or other boats, but there are a few different kinds, so believe it or not, there are a few things you'll want to consider when you're picking out the right ones for your boat, more so than which color you like best. What type and size of fenders, as well as how many you'll need, depends on three things. Your boat's length, its weight, and the conditions you're mooring in. For smaller, lighter boats, Dock Edge's twin-eye ribbed fenders are perfect. They can hang vertically with one line or horizontally with two. These center hole fenders are great for bigger, heavier boats and can hang vertically or horizontally with a single line. A good rule of thumb as far as number of fenders you need is to go with one for every 10 feet of the boat that touches the dock. On this 40 footer, there's about 30 feet of contact, so three of these big center hole fenders is perfect. When you're picking out size, another good rule of thumb is to look for at least an inch in diameter for every five feet of boat. So for this 40 footer, we want fenders that are at least eight inches wide. Now this one's 10, because a better rule is that you can't really go too big, especially if your boat is particularly heavy or if it's moored in harsh conditions. It's also smart to buy a variety of types for different weather and get a couple extra just in case. It's a lot cheaper to shell out for extra fenders than it is to patch a hole in your gel coat when you're missing one. And it's important to find fenders that are going to last. These dock edge fenders are made from a high quality marine grade vinyl for better strength, cushioning, and a nice high gloss finish. They're also made to resist deterioration from mildew, bacteria, gas, oil, and seawater along with UV rays. And they're warranted for the life of your boat. And since color definitely does matter some, they come in white, black, royal, or navy blue. So let's talk about attaching them to your boat. CMP has a bunch of smart ways to do that, so there's really no excuse to still be using that old broken piece of ski rope. These Titan Pro fender lines are made from a shock absorbent, low stretch, but strong polypropylene, and they come ready and easy to use. The built-in eye makes them easy to attach to all kinds of fenders, and they come in a variety of colors and thicknesses. Your fenders need to hang low enough that they don't get pushed up and over the dock and can't do their job but high enough that they're not sitting in the water growing all kinds of gross bacteria. Unless you're tying up to the same dock every single time, Dock Edge has a couple of great ways to make adjustments on the fly. This is the Fender Adjuster. It's a PVC strap that snaps onto any railing, stanchion, or lifeline. And with this sliding latch, you simply feed your fender line up through and catches, allowing you to make any adjustments instantaneously but grabbing on and keeping it nice and secure when you've got the right length. Then this is the Quick Adjust Fender Lock. It's a ratcheted strap that allows you to pretty quickly adjust anywhere from four to 22 inches in height. It's easy to thread through the eye of your fender or fender line, buckles onto a railing or cleat, and works with just one finger to move your fenders up and down. Plus it's lightweight and folds away easily for storage. When it comes to dock lines, Titan has you covered there too. These double braided nylon dock lines are softer, easier to handle, yet stronger than traditional three strand lines. And nylon's resistance to mildew means they won't harden over time, especially thanks to their water resistant coating. They also come in a variety of different lengths and thicknesses. For this 40 footer, these 5 eighths of an inch lines are plenty thick, but then again, don't be afraid to go bigger, especially if you're mooring in bad weather. Of course, weather and waves can do damage to more than just your hull, so the last thing I wanted to show you is something that'll protect the hardware on both your boat and your dock. This is a mooring snubber. It's essentially a shock absorber for your dock lines. Feed your dock line through one end, wrap it around the middle part three or four times, and then feed it out the other end. That'll transfer the brunt of the forces on your lines to the snubber. As it stretches, it reduces the load on your lines and your hardware. They work especially well on shorter dock lines. Dock Edge's snubbers come in three sizes for lines from 3 eighths of an inch to 3 quarters to accommodate boats up to 40 feet. Simple stuff that makes a big difference in protecting your boat.